Well, hello there, everybody. It's Jairus. How y'all doing? I know there's been a couple cooking with Chef Reaper videos on the channel. He's a good cook in real life, by the way. And I don't have a graphic with a nifty little Reaper wearing a chef's hat. I should get a graphic with a chef hat. Fit the theming. But as you can tell by the video, by the title screen, we are playing Cooking Simulator today. I have been wanting to play this game for a while. I unfortunately had a computer previously that could not run this. And I started playing this yesterday and Reaper was uh, thrilled that I was getting so into this game. And uh, right now I have relax mode on, so we're just gonna go through and continue where I left off. Um, I only have a few recipes right now, but I'm hoping to turn this into a little bit of a series here on the channel. So yeah, let's get to it, shall we? Start a new day of cooking. I mean, just added some uh, recipes to my, oh, what is that? It, you know, that, oh, the food critic. Like, you know, that really starts out well in the day when like, um, you just hear like a kerplunk. <laughs> and uh, I forgot where I left off. So we don't have like a minute of prep. I did prep a bunch of stuff. I've got some baked trout, some salmon. There's two tomatoes just randomly hanging out. Our cutting board is clean. I did go ahead and prep some potatoes and some lemons. Um, which by the way, my slicing is horrendously bad and you guys will see just how bad it is. So we have our stuff here. We're just checking things out. Make sure we're all in order. We've got some sour cream randomly laying over here. And I have to say, I mean, I, I obviously I watched Reaper's videos and um, when he when he did them. And the thing that cracks me about this game is the physics. It's just insane. You can just like randomly throw stuff around. We've got a timer here, our bake sheets. Um, and you can just randomly throw stuff around and you're not even trying um, to do so. So that's fun. So we've got five seconds here into our prep. Um, so here we go, we are open for the day and we've got our first order. Salmon, steak, and boiled potatoes. So we need water. So let's get some water. Thousand milliliters. Okay. Come on over here. Plop this down. There we go. Oh wait, we need potatoes, which I think is two. I started somewhat memorizing this. Um, so let's see. Just getting acclimated here. We gotta season our water. 20 grams of salt, 300 grams of potatoes. I'm still waking up here, guys, if I'm being honest. Um, probably not the most ideal game to be playing uh, when you just wake up. 20 grams. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um... And then we're gonna boil this for 120 seconds. Two minutes. Two minutes. Okay, where's our timer? There it is. Jeez, I'm already off to an awesome start here. Could have did that easier. Set our timer. Throw it on up there. And uh I turn this on see I told you I'm uh doing doing great over here so now we need our sunflower oil and we need to fry this on 60 seconds 
on each side. These are already prepped. I'm actually impressed with myself. Where is my pan? I know I had a pan, guys. I, I swear I had a pan. Oh. What the hell? Okay, hold on. See, chaos is fun, guys. Chaos is fun. Uh, apparently, I threw away a pan yesterday, and then I got mad. And, um... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. It just says pan. That's cute. Okay. Okay. See, this is why I wanted to do this video, because I felt like there's a really good chance of absolute utter chaos and and maybe a little bit there we go all right we were we were just shy we were just shy okay turn this on grab our prepped salmon throw it down we need our other timer bring it over here Did it again. That's fine. Okay. We'll grab a plate. Merge plate. Oh. Okay. And uh, plop that down. Grab our... Oh, our pan was over here. <laughs> That's fine. We needed another pan. Okay. We'll just, we'll just scratch that whole thing happened. Actually, we won't. Why is this? Oh, our stove is busted. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, no. No, I knock a pin. See? Chaos. Chaos. We need to clean. Um, our, our freaking stove is busted. Oh, we needed to do this during prep time. Oh, jeez. Not good. See, I had plans on this being like, you know, starting well and all this stuff. And uh, this has turned into an absolute, just, yeah, total crap. It's always important. Check your, uh, check your equipment. As you can see, this is not very good. This is not starting out well. All right, let's turn these bad boys on. And... This we're just gonna watch, cause this was almost done anyway. those on there. Grab our spatula. If I could click on it. Clean this real quick while we're at it. I cannot believe the pan was over here. So I just bought a new pan. That's fine. You know what? It's totally fine. We need pans. Just like we need pots. And uh, yeah, it's totally fine, guys. Totally fine. So we just want to go ahead and transfer this and then we'll go ahead and, and serve it up. Um, we don't have to do anything else with that. So we should be close to done here. All 
All right. Serve up our first order. Let's see what we got, guys. Oh, oh, that's not good. What were their complaints? The potatoes. Too much salt. Hmm. I thought I did. I thought I did what I was supposed to do. Apparently not. And we have another order. Baked trout. All right. So we got our lemon quarters. We need parsley and we need to bake this for 90 seconds. So we have some trout already prepared. So we'll go ahead and throw on a trout. Oh geez. There we go. Come on. There you go. Turn it on. Our freaking timers are over here now. It's chaos. Ninety seconds. We'll get a plate. And I'm gonna do all my other stuff here. Uh so our parsley was six grams. I believe that's three twigs. And our lemons. Jeez. You know, I'll get used to this at some point. <laughs> My lemons have gotten me um, a little bit of a situation. Uh, and we need our horseradish. Okay, so that's set to one gram because uh, we need five. And I know I could just change it, but I'm finding now that, like, depending on what I'm doing, it just doesn't, uh, doesn't do well. Timer. Fish. Plate. Baked trout. On the plate. That looks terrible. That is some bad presentation, folks. Bad presentation. I did all that to save time, but I'm not very happy with the presentation. Baked trout. And we got five stars. We got a new fame level. All things considered. Oh, geez. There we go. Get over there, you lovely trophy, you. Oh, geez, we got two orders. All right, so we got tomato soup. We can do that quickly because I made some ahead. So we need 300 milliliters, I believe, of tomato soup. Yep. 300. We need a large ladle for that. If I can click on stuff, that'd be great. And we'll go ahead and just... I don't know if this actually... Um, does anything. So we'll see. I'm not sure that this is going to do much, but okay. So it, I, I put too much cayenne in this when I made it. So the flavor. Oh wow, the temperature actually. Okay, so the microwave actually did work. Reaper said he hasn't used the microwave. And I was like, why not?
We're going to try the reheat method here. I've never gotten a good rating on this in terms of the temperature. Wow. Hey Reaper, take notice. Microwave works, buddy. Okay. So we have all this. Trying to be like super precise with this. All right, and then we need our parsley. We need six grams. Did our lemon just go flying off the plate? Our lemon went flying off the plate. Six grams. All right. Big trout out the door. Why did I not get five stars on my big trout? Of course, my technique. Wrong amount of product. I thought I gave you more. Oh well. And we are done with orders for the day. So guys, that is the first day here of cooking sim and uh, I don't know can you okay can't clean it trying to clean it clean in the griddle so we have our um, we have 341 milliliters left of tomato soup so we have enough for one more order our borscht we have enough for one more order and then the rest of that we're gonna have to we're gonna have to uh, oh yeah we're gonna empty our pan all right and then we'll hang this up we got craziness going on here. And we'll put our pot. We got our other two pots here with our soup. Um, you know what? And I found that this is going to be, I mean, this has been a little bit of an issue. So let's go over here real quick and let's buy. Um, I don't know if it's under miscellaneous. We're gonna buy another timer. That way I have one over here for the fry station and for the oven. If I have to use more than one, then uh, I can always do that too. And you have your plates over here. We don't really have much of a mess, but here's a here's a random potato that has seemingly just I I don't know where that came from. Uh, looks like it's cooked too. What the hell? You behave yourself. So as you can see guys, this is cooking simulator and uh, sometimes some weird stuff happens. This is an automatic cutter container? What is this? What? What is this? We're going to try that out next time. Matter of fact, let me see what kind of time we got. Five minutes. Let's just see something here. Let's grab ourselves a lemon because this thing always screws me up. So let's see. What do we got going on over here?
Reaper, Reaper, have you been holding out on me, dude? Look at this. That's perfect. That is perfect. Why am I why am I bothering to cut? This is ridiculous. I didn't even notice that was over there. Oh geez, we got lemon on the lemon on the floor. Dun dun. Okay. I'm sorry. I apologize. Oh. Get down there. All right. Oh. It's totally fine. That's not a violation or anything. Uh, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this episode of Cooking Sim. And I will definitely be back for more. Uh, hopefully, it becomes a little more eventful. But uh, we'll have to see. But we've completed another day uh, here. And... Yeah, we don't have a lot of cleaning left. I've already put, you know, I've already gotten some skill increases and stuff, so we we can increase this. So we'll skip this. And you can see our total income for the day. 136. Meal, incre meal income, 345. Tip was 58. Our expenses were 267. So guys... Thank you very much for checking out my first video here of Cooking Simulator here on the channel. As always, if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Let me know in the comments down below, have you played Cooking Simulator? And if you have, what are some of your favorite dishes? I'm going to keep working at it here in the kitchen. I eventually I'm going to get to the point where I am going to turn relaxed mode off and really put myself, you know, add some pressure to my, my day, my shift and, uh, and see how that pans out. So again, guys, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. And like I said, leave a comment down below. What are your favorite dishes to use? In cooking simulator if you play it and if you don't play cooking simulator let me know why I'm curious to know so until next time guys my name is Jairus thank you very much for watching take care